you to hang out and get crafty. So as you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on in your neck of the woods. We have a quick little um, edit that we did. So I want to make sure that that, you know, went through and that we're live. Hello. I see that we're live. Yay. Hey guys, how are we doing? Happy, happy Thursday. Oh my goodness. Who's ready to get crafty? I am. Rachel. I'm always ready to get crafty though. I'm super excited. It's This is going to be a really good video, mainly because everyone has been talking about our hedgehog. Now, I just want to show you the hedgehog. This is a beautiful image from our print and cut lineup um, at makersgonnalearn.com. So this is from our home collection, which we are loving. So as you guys are tuning in, share with us where you're visiting from. Let us know what you've got going on. Um, this again is from the home collection. So if you guys are just tuning in, we are getting crafty today with our little hedgehog friend. And this is a printable iron-on. Now, Rachel, I have not used printable iron-on too much. Right. But we were testing it before the show. This takes a lot of time to actually set before we're able to cut it and weed it. Yeah, there's something about the printable iron-on and the ink from your inkjet printer. It just takes a very long time to dry right. the ink on the, you know, the material. Yeah. I'm not sure why, but, you know. So as you can see here, it was taking up some time to, to dry. And even now, it's still like, see that? Like, it's just not dry. Like, it's... And we just did not want to have a craft felt for you guys. Right. And again, this was, Cricut does no longer sell this. Right. And of course, Cricut always likes to give us the best products. So we totally understand. And hopefully they'll give us a revamped version yeah. later on. But for right now, sadly, we are having to do without the Cricut brand. Right. Is. So we are no longer, you know, this printable iron on, they don't even sell on the website. So we're not able to really showcase that and things like that. So anyway, um, just wanted to clarify this is a printable vinyl video, even though we hadn't had time to change the title. Um, we're actually going to use our hedgehog today and make a really fun sign. So I'm super excited. We're using this Chocotor sign. Um, they have such great quality signs. And we're going to put our printable, um, our little uh, hedgehog on here. And then we're going to uh, put a little quirky saying with one of our fonts. So I'm super, super excited. But what I'm also really excited about, guys, is that we have um, our membership on sale. So our membership, 20% um, off, ends tomorrow. This is one of the final days. Uh, per all of your requests, we have it for 20% off so that you're able to take full advantage of our fonts, get access to all of the fun things we've got going on. So I'm super duper excited for that. Um, and again, if you need to get your year membership, click that first link down below because you get access to everything with that year membership. So let us know if you have any comments, questions. Rachel, what's everyone saying in the chat? Everyone is telling us where they're from and saying hello. And we have people that are watching us while crafting. Yay! Sandy is making her very first reverse canvas. Awesome, Sandy. We've got uh, some people making t-shirts, which Ooh, is awesome. So it. I love that you all are getting crafty while we're getting crafty. Yeah. And Allison says, just checking in if i have the printable vinyl from cricut should i not use it so printable vinyl is totally different they still sell printable vinyl and we highly recommend printable vinyl i love 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 the cricut printable vinyl um the cricut printable iron on a little bit different um they don't they do not sell that anymore carrying uh, unfortunately uh but we were able to use it to make our beautiful hedgehog um and it's really awesome but you can just substitute that for a different brand and we will have video trainings on using the printable iron-on. We just need to prepare and make sure it's the best of quality. So anyway, um, I'm super excited for today's project. And talking more about vinyl, Claudia wants to know if we have any more tutorials for beginners using vinyl. For sure, we have lots of videos teaching you guys how to use vinyl for decals, um, beginner vinyl products, or projects, excuse me, and things like that on the channel. I would just take a long time to search through find some really great ones um, and just search our like Cricut for beginners. We have lots of videos using those titles um, and a lot of those are either iron on vinyl or um, just traditional vinyl. So, and here we go. Tanya has a question hey. about the membership. Hey Tanya. She says, I have a monthly membership right now, but I plan to update to yearly. When is the best time to do it so I don't get charged monthly again? That's a great question. So um, I don't know the last time you were charged, obviously, 
but I would recommend getting upgraded by tomorrow so you're able to save that 20% off. Um, you know, if your billing cycle was, say, within the past five days for that monthly, we are able to refund that. But if it was, say, 10 days ago, um, you will not, we won't be able to refund that for the monthly. But here's the deal. With the 20% off, if you're a monthly member right now, the 20% off is a huge savings. Our year membership price is normally $191, and you're getting grandfathered in for 20% off, and that brings it down to $153 and some change so you can tell like that's well over a month savings right there um, and even 191 it's worth every penny it so you guys is. are getting this for a steal yeah and that ends tomorrow per everyone's request it was supposed to end on the 28th but you guys asked and since we all been so great with us um, supporting the fonts and different things like that we have extended it for you all until tomorrow. So yeah. we're excited to offer that and it's gonna be really good. So the hedgehog is adorable. I cannot wait to jump into it. Um, the way I uploaded it traditionally into Cricut, we're gonna have to re-upload it just for a few different shifts and changes, but it'll be really awesome. Um, and are there any other questions before we get crafty? Uh, let me see, Tanya said, this is the same yes. uh, woman who's gonna upgrade. I signed up for the 20% during the sale. Can I be grandfathered in when I upgrade to yearly? Uh, yes, you would just have to catch it during another sale time and different things like that. But it, since you already um, opted in at a sale, just email us and we'll be able to give you all the details. Good. Yeah. So awesome, guys. I want to share with you guys really quickly what we have in our home collection. So I love, love, love our home collection. It's such an awesome one. Um, there's lots of different files and it was our latest collection for January. So we launched this in January. Um, notice that the Disney collection's right on top because that was our bonus. So you guys, you know, super fun. We've used the home collection for so many projects already. The You Belong Here, the Verse of the Week, how to stencil video, um, and different things like that. So we're gonna open that into iZip. If you guys have never used iZip, it's a great app. We love, love, love iZip. And is this one free or does this This one is money? free. So yeah, you, this one's awesome. We love it. Um, as you can see, there's an ad right here for Candy Crush. Um, it's what you get for free, but you know what? It's fine. Right. It's good. It's awesome. Better than paying. Exactly. So you can see in here, we have like some patterns, all kinds of awesome files in here. Um, I love, love, love this. Like these are really trendy. Would be great as a stencil. Um, great as a vinyl transfer just brew it we love these images and you guys are going to love these too so in our membership you get access to over 700 digital cut files like our little hedgehog friend um and there's so many more look at all of these you have the cactus those cactuses are so cute i love the cactus so so much fun um all kinds of different patterns you can see these are black because they um, don't do not have a background so um, anywho, we can open those up in Design Space. So let's just go ahead and look at a few more. Now, at the beginning here are some sneak peeks into other collections. So I'm just going to scroll, 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 scroll. Um, here we go. So you can see these are all our home collection files. They're super trendy. I love the Let's Stay Home. They See Me Rolling is so They See so Me cute. Rolling is a really fun one. So we love, love, love this. Um, my Happy Place. You know, so many awesome files. And that's all in the home collection. So every month you're a member, you, there's a new collection. So we love that. Um, but what we also love is that if you become a member, say today, you're going to get access to over 700 different die cutting files, which we absolutely love. So we just browsed our files and through iZip selected this PNG. Um, we are going to just remove that background. So we're just going to be able to click here and remove the white. So you can see here, this is going to remove a lot of the white, and you can see there's a few more areas that the white background needs to be removed. So we're just going to go and, excuse me, go up. So just and that just gives it more precision, and you can see now it's taking out some of the pink, so you can move that down, and it's bringing it back, and different things like that. So you can kind of play around with this, um, but it should go on really well. That's the cutest little hedgehog. I love this little hedgehog. It's so adorable. I'm playing around just to see what it may um, be able to do for us. Yeah, we're crafting Tanner. Now's the time to play around. Yeah. So I'm trying to get this whole white background removed. So let's see if 
I just click on this white, what will happen? Yeah, so we can just click on what white we need to remove. And it's just simply removing that for us. And Tanya says, I totally didn't think of using the patterns as a stencil. Is there any videos demonstrating that? Yeah, we um, have that. Uh, when was that video? It was like Sunday before last. So it's a how to make a stencil with your Cricut video. That's the title. And we used that really fun pattern. Um, the birch the trees. Birch tree. Yeah, the logs so or whatever. Adorable. So, yeah. so adorable. So, so adorable. I'm just clicking and removing the white background here. Um, it's really easy. We give you guys the white background because there's a lot of different things to do with the images. But um, I think in the future, we're just going to have to just remove the white background because this is, you know, a different, an, a, yet another step. So anyway, we're just going to, oops. And if you do anything wrong, the, the undo button is your best friend in this scenario. So yeah, we're just quickly going through and removing any of those white specks. So super, super fun. What's everyone got going on this Thursday? Let us know in the comments. Let us know what you're crafting. So excited to see how Sandy's reverse canvas turns out. Yes, and we have a viewer saying that uh, they hope to get a maker in a couple of months. And will your membership work in the UK? Yes, we have lots of international friends. That's an awesome question. Um, if you're in the UK, if you're in Canada, any um, international country that you, know, you can use your die cutting machine, you are still going to enjoy our membership. So um, we love it. A lot of people um, during the Christmas season were getting their memberships before they got their machines so that they could get those trainings um, and be able to successfully conquer it once they got it. So if that's something you're interested in, you are more than welcome to. Um, but we're looking so forward to having you when you get your maker. Congratulations. And Samantha wants to know, why don't we want the white background? That's a great question. So this is going to be a print and cut file. So we want to remove that white background for any print and cut file so that Cricut knows to print this. And then the Cricut is actually going to go through and cut this. So all of these little places, all these little, these little, you know, pieces on your hedgehog, we're actually going to print those and then cut them. And it's going to end up looking something like this. It's very complicated. And specifically for this project, of course, uh -huh. as you can see, um, since we're using the like the chalkboard, you know, it's like a black background. Yeah. You don't want any of that white no. left there. Unlike with their embroidered hoop there. We were you can able... see there's just a few white, but you can't notice it because the background's white also. Right. So to save you time weeding, for example, you could leave all of these white spaces in and just take the white around the edges. So it just cuts, you know, around here, but and leave all this white. So you don't have to worry about it. Right, but since your background's all, you know, already correct. white, it would make a ton of difference. So any print and cut image, you would want to do this process too. Um, but we love our little hedgehog. So if you're a member of Makers Gonna Learn, you can use that first link down below. Um, or excuse me, you can just go to your dashboard and get this in the home collection. But if you're a, a brand new viewer that would like to join Makers Gonna Learn, um, you can use the first link down below for a limited time, guys. You have less than... Um, you know, a day to take advantage of our 20% uh, off offer. And if you want access to our fonts, which we're also going to be using today um, for this project, be sure to, you know, go ahead and grab your membership. You are not going to miss out on access to our crafty community with over 2,000 members. Um, we're so proud of that and so happy to have each and every one of you. Um, if you love your die cutting machine, you're going to love hanging out with us and getting our cut files and everything like that. So anyway, we're going to press next and it's going to let you redefine this. I usually don't have to, um, but you just want to make sure again, everything looks good. I think ours looks so adorable. So it's we're so going to press next. It's a print and cut. Be sure to select print and cut. And we're just going to put, I'm just going to name it hog as a little hedgehog. And about the new members and yes. members just joining, um, Mahina says, so when you are, or when you sign up for the membership, do we have to download all the files right away? I'm waiting for my new computer to come in any day now. You do not. So you get access, as long as you're a member, you get access to your membership. So um, you don't have to worry about like having to rush and download anything um, and things like that. So 
take your time, get your membership, start watching. If you're a year member, you're going to get access to our video trainings. Um, you get three e-courses included with your membership, which is a huge value and you're really going to enjoy it. Um, so that teaches you how to use design space, how to use the Cricut, plus how to build a business with your die cutting machine. So, all right guys, we're working with this beautiful board today um, and we're just going to, oops, we're just gonna see how big of space we have. So this is like an eight inch, a little bit more than an eight inch board. Um, so what we're going to do now, we know that we can size it down a little and Rachel, we can only do print and cut, you know, a certain size. Right. Um, do you remember that size? I, I'm having like, it's a really, it's, it's like really six small. Point, uh, by yeah, 6.5 by like 8 or less than that. I don't, I don't know. It's really weird. So we're using rubbing alcohol today, um, and we're cleaning off this chalkboard. So when we print it, when we cut it and weed it, we'll be able to apply it on really well. And this is a chalk couture board. So we're just getting all of that residue off. This is really awesome, perfect for cleaning the yes, board. Yes, we want our vinyl to stick very well. Yes, yeah, so you can see we had some like orange chalk paste on it, so we're just needing to... Or, green. <laughs> guys, we're going to talk just about tell it. Them, we're going to have to tell it. You know, we all have flaws. One of my flaws is that when I see green, I say orange, and when I say orange, I see green. Um, so if I'm looking at something orange, I'll say green. If I'm looking at something green, say orange. And Every time. It never fails. It never fails. I've said it on local television. I'll say it all the time. So we're going to let that dry. Anyway, um, we've already loaded our printable vinyl into our Canon TS8120. Whew, I said that really quick. Um, it's our favorite printer. It's perfect for print and cut. Less than 100 bucks. Less than 100 bucks. Um, so we're just going to size this down. It has to be less than 8 inches. Um, and I think we could do like 6.5. So six and a half wide by about five inches tall, which I think would be adorable. Let's see, just double check. Oh, I think that'll be perfect. Yeah, so you always wanna measure your projects for your vinyls and things like that. So we're just going to click make it, we're gonna replace. And it's just to think about it. I only have 4%, I need to hurry up. I don't know why, I'm clearly plugged in, I don't know why. I must be using too much energy. Tanner, you're going to feel so good. Oh, really? Yes. So many people are commenting saying they have two colors that do that Shut too. Shut up. Now, they could just be making, trying to make you feel better <laughs> like great members would. But right, I believe right. them. I believe okay. them. Well, that's They do hilarious. with, let me see, yellow and white. Uh, people do it with numbers. The color's red and yellow. The more you know. I know. Maybe you should talk about things that you don't too, do too well with. So that you can realize that it's pretty normal. Yeah, it's not just you. I love that. So anyway, we are just going ahead. I'm printing this. Now, can you show the overhead camera? So this is what it looks like. You're going to see here. We just went ahead and printed this out. Um, and you can click reprint if you need to. Oh, it says there's errors, but we don't see any errors. because so It's perfect. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so here is our little look at it. Now, Aww. I want to point this out. We left bleed on, so if there's any errors, the Cricut is going to catch it. And I do want to point something out. I thought my printer was just really bad low on ink. Look at the color difference. Rachel. Oh my goodness, that is a color difference. It's a huge color difference. So, it's an iron on and vinyl, wow. Yeah. Okay, so here, let's, and see, look at this. Like, we just printed this out. We just got it off the, off the map. No smearing. I'm still smearing with this freaking frack printable iron on. I don't know wow. what's going on. Anyway, um, here's the finished printable iron on project. And then here's, you know, this one, here's that one. You can see this one's going to be super cool. So anyway, I just like to compare and contrast those because we are going to find the best printable iron on to recommend. Um, I just wanted to, you know, be honest about it after you guys seen that title. Um, and we didn't do that. So anyway, we're just going to Put this on our map. Those colors are so vibrant. That's I so know. cute. I love this. And guys, you've seen me weed some really crazy print and cuts from our membership. I think everyone should try this one out because it's so much fun. Um, you know, we'll see how well I handle it, but uh, I think it's going to be really great. So we're just going to load that in real quick. And again, it, we've printed it. Now we're going to cut it. 
on printable vinyl, which we get ours from Cricut. We love Cricut's printable vinyl. If you would like to get any Cricut supplies today, please use our links down below, our Shop Cricut link. And then you can use the code MGL at checkout for orders over $50. You'll get 10% off and you will get free shipping. So we love that. Thanks Cricut for that special offer. Yeah, and someone just asked uh, what type of vinyl, uh, printable vinyl are we using. So yeah, it's Cricut. Yeah, we love Cricut printable vinyl. Um, so you select that as your material, printable vinyl. We're going to turn fast mode on because this is a big project to cut. So once it's ready to go, we're using our light grip mat today. We'll press that flashing Cricut button and it's going to start cutting out for us. So it has to go through and really watch and look at the registration marks so it knows exactly how to cut this project. It's such a smart machine. I love watching it. It's, it's super so neat. Smart. So yeah, are there any questions, things that people are wanting to know? Uh, Cheeky says, it's such a shame that you can still only print 8.5 inches with the printable vinyl. And maybe in the future, Cricut will expand that, you know. Definitely. Let's hope so. Only hopeful. So it's just scanning away here. Cheryl said, Tanner, you make everything look so easy. Oh, thanks, Cheryl. And we did have some people up above asking, how are your eyes, Tanner? They're doing great. I can see really nice. I got to go back to the gym today um, after, you know, I took the whole week off um, from the surgery. And I was back at it today. It was great. I had a lot of fun. So we're doing good. So we're just cutting along here. I love watching it cut. And remember where we have all of these intricate little spots we're gonna have to weed those out so i'm excited for the challenge it's going to be fun tanner did you uh ever get to rename this excuse me did you get to rename this video um i did well it says so it says craft with me how to use printable vinyl with your cricket so yes okay for a second i was like did i mess it up and no and write that anyways okay no nope, okay. i changed it i just didn't know if it actually worked i thought my mistake was ending up being a happy mistake <laughs> oh my gosh that is so funny well guys yeah so we're super excited and guys if you have not got your summit ticket everyone if you are a member of makers gonna learn and you want to attend the summit go to your inbox right now we have sent out an email yesterday and today giving you your special price for the summit you need to rush to your inbox we are having limited seating available for this price, so you want to go over and get your seat um, so that you're able to attend the summit and attend um, our super fun summit for die cutting enthusiasts on March 9th and 10th. It's going to be a lot of fun, um, so be sure to check out that email for all the details. And regular price is $197, but members get it for $147, so that's a huge discount. And it's just a virtual summit for two days. You're going to have so much fun, learn so much. Um, get a lot of inspiration, um, and it's a virtual summit. So anywhere around the world you are, you're able to attend and have fun with us. I just like to remind everyone, because um, not everyone can get their email or check it and things like that. Uh, Roxanne wants to know, hey, can I only use SnapMat with iOS? Um, I'm not sure if SnapMat's on Android because I only use iOS. It could potentially just be on iOS. I've never seen anyone use it with Android now that you're, now that we're talking about it. Look at this cricket go, and we're almost done. Oh, no, we're not. It's just getting started. <laughs> and Tanya says, I'm waiting patiently for some Valentine's Day projects. Oh, well, February starts tomorrow, so get excited. Oh, yeah, they're coming up. We have lots of good ones. We are going to be ironing on some stuffed animals. We're going to be doing lots of different Valentine's Day things, featuring our Valentine's Day collection. It's going to be so much fun. So stick with us, get excited for Valentine's Day projects. Let us know what you all would like to see us make. Tanya says, I haven't tried print and cut before. Um, d -d 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 or she tried it and it didn't work. So she really needs to know how to utilize it. I love print and cut. Um, this, I would not say this would be a great beginner print and cut project. Um, but I do recommend print and cut. Like I would recommend starting out with some images like these on the, the packaging just because they're really um, easy to weed and you'll be able to see how amazing print and cut is really quickly. So we have lots of other images in our membership that would be perfect for you to do for your first print and cut project. So great question, great, great, um, you know, little observation there. But yeah, we're just, 
watching this cut and it's it's a little it's it's gonna be a while let's go cut for some time well that just means that everybody needs to ask their questions right. about crafting about tanner whatever really just just ask us some questions <laughs> i'm gonna drink some water do it suzanne says if we signed up at the last summit do we get craft supplies um yes if you signed up from the last summit the first 50 people that purchase tickets get a little little mystery craft supply box sent to them so that's one of the perks for being one of the first 50 um to get tickets so be sure to get your tickets um but yes if you got your ticket from the last summit the ogs definitely will get theirs and roxanne said on the embroidery hoop hedgehog did you just print on the white cotton and then put it in the hoop um, no, so this was a, we took the, we used printable iron-on, so we did the same process, but instead with printable vinyl, we did this with printable iron-on, um, and then we're able to iron it on to the fabric, which we'll have another video coming out very soon. We just have to test out some new iron-on material, since you guys cannot get that, that iron-on material anymore. Cricut doesn't offer it. And Tanya has a great question. Hey. Um, she says, even with the intricacy of the hedgehog, do you still cut on fast mode? Oh, uh, yeah. This one's cutting on fast mode. Um, I didn't even think about the in intricacy because this is a really nice material for the Cricut to cut. Um, and I haven't had any issues with it. So that's one of the reasons why I'm still using fast mode. And Samantha wants to know, have, have we ever used any of the print patches that Cricut has, and I think they just mean, you know. Oh, those printable designs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the printable designs we have. They're really awesome. They're um, really inexpensive and great for you to be able to use your easy press without, you know, having to cut anything. They're super cool, um, but I still love making, you know, some of my own projects and things like that. Yeah, they're limited. You know, there's only yeah, like six yeah. or seven. Right, maybe a little more. Who knows? They're always adding. But yeah, so we're just watching this cut. I love the hedgehog, though. I, this is such a great project, and I wish we could be working on another project with another machine uh, because we're going to be adding some awesome vinyl to this with a little hedgehog quote. Um, so we're super excited to use one of our fonts with that. So stay with us for this whole project. It's going to be really adorable. And Jesse wants to know, can I use it on wood? Um, the printable vinyl? I guess. Yeah, um, I would recommend smooth wood. Sand that wood, clean that wood. Make it nice and smooth. I would not use it on any like rough wood surfaces. So make sure it's nice and smooth finished wood. Liz has a funny question. Oh, she says, could you guys do printable iron on socks? I want to put my <laughs> face on my husband's socks. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, you probably could. Yeah. If, I don't see why not. Yeah. We might, <laughs> we, we, in the future, we might test some other brands of yeah. Printable, uh, yeah, printable iron on. Yeah, that would be crazy. I love that idea. Matthew um, says that he uses printable iron on found by the t-shirts at Michael's that work ooh, really well. So, super yeah. awesome. We'll try that out. We were looking at Hobby Lobby the other day. Um, and guys, we're always at Hobby Lobby because it's 10 minutes away or less. Less. Yeah, I was there like 30 minutes ago with Courtney. <laughs> um, Michael's is unfortunately an hour away. I think Michael's has a much better selection. I would say for what types of crafts we make, um, but we're just always so close to the to the Hobby Lobby. So we love both. I just like to clarify um, the reason why I'm not at my favorite store ever. It's just in way. Tammy says, if I signed up for the summit when you first advertised it, does that mean I'll get a box? Um, it depends on when you mean first advertised it, um, and it's just the first 50. So. Um, we're not even like we're not confirming or denying anyone if they have that. Um, and if you go on the sign up page now, it's not even like marketed. So the first 50, get a box. If you're in the first 50, great. If you're not, I'm so sorry. Um, sign up for the next summit at as soon as you see it, as soon as you hear about it, because you want to be in that first group. Yeah. Because the first 50 always get a special little box. And even if you don't uh, get a box, we still give out all, you know the all supply, the supply list. list, so you all like can that. still get ahead of the game and go get your supplies, so you can craft with us. Yeah, and a lot of the projects, honestly, you all are crafters that craft with me all the time. Um, you probably already have a majority of the supplies, so it's really fun. So we're just cutting away. We're almost halfway there, <laughs> just yes. halfway. Good. Um, so we're just cutting along today. 
Yeah, keep asking questions, guys. You're asking awesome questions. People are excited for the summit. I'm super excited for the summit. Do we have any questions on the membership sale, um, on how to do that? Again, it's the first link down below. If you want to get access to the fonts, if you want access to over 80 plus fonts in addition to the 700 digital cut files and the free video courses, highly recommend you guys go in with that yearly option just because that gives you access to everything. Um, and then we also have the printable Cricut guide, which if we have any newbies hanging out with us, this is adorable. I love our Cricut printable guide. It has everything you need to know to, for all of your Cricut projects. So um, you can see here, it's awesome. So if you're a member, go ahead and download this and you can know, print it out because you're gonna love it. And you can find this on your dashboard. I saw some questions that people are like, where do I get it? Are you gonna email it to me? No, if you're a member, you go to your dashboard and you're going to be able to, you know, download this. I love keeping this right on my craft table so I can reference these. Um, you know, you can know what you can cut with your fine point blades, your rotary blade. I love the easy press tempers charts. Yeah, and you can take this to your, you know, local staples or office max or ups or whatever and get it laminated and bound like tanner did yeah this one's really fun i love it and we love our cheat sheet guide so this is really great and this is just an added bonus for all of our members um and you know with our membership you get that year value um so you're getting that financial incentive to get yearly you get the bonuses you get the fonts you get all kinds of stuff and who doesn't want to have a really awesome guide to be able to tangibly download and enjoy it. Like, I love it. It's my favorite thing ever. And Tanner, how can somebody that wants to be a member become a member? That's a great question. All you want to do is click the link down below in the description. So all you want to do is click that link. Um, let me see if I can actually post it in the, the down there because um, it could be easier for you all to just click a link. But all you want to do is find the description and it depends on where you're at. So if you're on your desktop, you could probably just click like directly down here, open up that description. It'll tell you to like sign up for Makers Gonna Learn for, uh, you know, 600 plus cut files, 80 plus fonts, and lots more. So I'm just gonna drop it in the comments. Here I am, I'm going to pop in. And I usually don't do this, but since we're just killing Tom, um, hanging out watching this we uh, cut, this is gonna be a fun one to weed. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> oh, I I'm looking forward to it, but I feel like if I fail, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. So, okay, anyway. All right. So, yeah, sign up here. And here's the comment. There we go. Woohoo. Yay. So, you can just click that link if you guys are ready to get your membership. That is 20% off. Again, you do not have to use any special coupon codes. That has the 20% off pricing. Traditionally, our membership is $19.99 a month or um, $15.99 a month. Uh, build yearly so that year membership is normally 191 but with the 20 percent off it's only 153.88 i believe um so it's a really great time to go ahead and get registered and get signed up for that uh year so it's a lot of fun and denise says hey denise. i'm already a yearly member is there any way to take advantage of the sale i'm only two to three months into my membership um no so it's you're grandfathered in at where you joined so unfortunately we're not able to go back and like change it we have in some cases like had people um go ahead and get their second year and they just like stack them but they have to email us after they purchase it um so again we'll i'm sure have another sell closer to when you signed up which i would highly recommend you take advantage of so that you can get on that cheaper rate and debbie says I'm getting excited because my Ooh. Cricut Explore should be here any day Yay! now. That's awesome. You're going to love it. And that's the cool thing. Like, you can do this project if you have the Maker, if you have the Explore. It doesn't matter. So whatever materials you love to cut, like, I love the Explorers. I can use my Martha Explorer right back here all day long. It's so pretty. It's our pearly white. We love it. It's so much fun. And Denise wants to know, is the commercial license available for all members? Yes, the commercial license as of right now is available for all members. Um, and I do want to let you guys know we are shifting to only year members have access to that. But if you're a monthly member right now and cannot afford to upgrade, 
um, you will be grandfathered in for that as well. So if you're a monthly member before we do the change. Um, when we get our new website, there'll be a lot of changes coming for monthly members, um, but you will still get that monthly uh, membership, uh, commercial awesomes, I'm sorry. So here we are, look at our little hedgehog. Look He's at really it. He's really cute. He's so adorable. Oh and my Samantha gosh. is asking a good question. Hey. I thought it would just cut around the hedgehog. Why is he cutting everything? Because um, we didn't tell it to cut like that. So it would be so much easier if we, um, you know, just had it cut around there. Uh, but we're going to be able to weed it out and really enjoy the full hedgehog. Yeah, so, and you don't want the white, the white background. Want, on this right here, yeah. you do not want the white background. Now, if we were just using, like we've been talking about, on this fabric, it would have been really fine. But you don't want, like, the white background on your little hedgehog when you put it on the chalkboard. So we're making more work for ourselves, yes, but it's worth it. Oh, it's totally that's worth pretty, it. That's pretty much what I'm saying. Yeah. It's so much, it's so worth it. Okay, so I'm just going to start weeding here. Oh, I'm super excited. So I love to do the outer edges first. And I'm going to do Rachel's trick we talked about yesterday. Okay, let me, I need to find a stopping point. Okay, it's going on really well. But Rachel had an amazing epiphany. And I want to talk about it. Rachel, can you talk it through while I just demo it? You want me to talk yeah, about my talk epiphany? It okay. Well, so Tanner is using his handy dandy scraper tool, and he is actually scraping the image before we even weed. And especially for vinyl. Especially um, for intricate projects. Yeah. This is going to be game changer. Yeah, for little fonts and stuff is what I was using it for. But if you just take your scraper tool and you just burnish it really well before you even weed it, it helps the vinyl you want to stay down stay down so much better. Amazing. Yeah. And uh, of course, I'm sure other people are doing that. And you guys are ahead of the game. I just now figured that out. But, but I had never, I had never, Rachel, I'm, you say that. I've watched so many videos. I've read so much in Facebook groups. Maybe it's common sense. Maybe Rachel and I are just are dumb. <laughs> like, maybe, yeah, we're just slow. Maybe, maybe. we're I slow. Don't I don't know. But if you have never, you know, just did this method, like game freaking changer, hello, love this game changer, um, and it's really awesome. So. And Claire wants to know, is the membership only for people in the U.S.? She's watching from the U.K. Um, of course our membership's for everyone. Everyone's able to join. We have lots of international friends um, that have our membership. Anyone from, you know, the UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. We even have members in the Philippines, guys, like all over the world. We love it. And Patricia wants to know, where are some good places to get inexpensive t-shirts for iron-on projects? Ooh, that's a great question. I love to stock up on the Michaels 3 for 10 deal. That's a good deal, you know, like three t-shirts for 10 bucks. You can, can you beat that? I don't you know. should see us in there whenever oh, they run a sale because we it is far away from us. We just have a buggy of shirts. Yeah, I mean, just fill it up. if you look on my Instagram, like I post pictures just because it's so funny when we go. We we stock up for months. Like we haven't had to go since like Christmas time, which now would be so much nicer to go to Michael's because like, you know, it's nice and relaxing. Yeah, a little less crowded. Yeah, I love, I'm loving going to Walmart with Mamaw nowadays because we usually go to Walmart like during the work day. Like obviously I don't want to go to, I don't, Mammal and I like to really browse Walmart. Um, I could tell you probably anything down any aisle just because I browse Walmart so much. But anyway, um, it's really, it was really, an, not annoying. I don't know what to, it was just not as comfortable. Tanner, you can through. say it was annoying. It's okay. I just didn't enjoy it as much. I'll say it was annoying. I mean, it, the holiday rush just was not the same as. But now, listen, I was right one now. of the people being annoying. I was in there just like everybody else, exactly. trying to get trying to get their Christmas stuff for their kids or their nephews or you know to cook a meal. I totally understand the rush. I do. I do too. But me and Mamaw just enjoy it so much better when it's a relaxed. That's just one of our things to do that we relax with, and when we're there and. We're not able to relax, you know? It's just not as fun. That's all I'm saying. Uh, Mel wants to know, and this is Matt. Oh, Matthew's name is Mel. Okay. Hi, Mel. Um, they want to start a vinyl business, and they ask, would you recommend that I upgrade from the original Air to the Maker? 
Um, you know, it really, uh, the, the air gives great cut quality. So if you're just making t-shirts, I don't, I don't personally see the need for you to, um, maybe, you know, get some orders under your belt, you know, grow. And if you start expanding, maybe then would be a great time. Look at this, Rachel. Look at this. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> um, maybe that would be the time that you'd want to expand. Is so. there a fast mode on the airs? Uh, yes, that's one of the cool parts. So the Explore Air 2 has Bluetooth and fast mode and all those things. Um, but I do think the Cricut Maker has a faster fast mode. I'm not sure. Don't quote me. I'm not. It's been so long since we've been talking about the first time about the, the Maker. I cannot confirm nor deny if it has a faster fast mode or what, to be honest. Oh, and Danica said something super sweet, so Aww. I have to share it. Yay! Uh, the yearly membership is great. If you are on the fence, jump off and get the yearly Aww. membership. You get so much and it keeps on giving. That is so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Like, we love all of our members. And I just want to say thank you to our yearly members. Because, like, like I said, like, it is really frustrating when we have um, members join just for a month and, like, download a lot of our files and leave. Like, we really want to have a, the community aspect. And that's what made us go with investing in the yearly. Because our... First of all, when we first launched the membership, the yearly was and still is our best value, meaning that's the best financial, you know, price for you guys to save as much money. So our hardcore, amazing followers that already loved and supported everything we did, they were already yearly members. Um, so now just pouring into that and making it the number one, you know, spot on our website, When I what I mean by that is over 70% of people that are part of our website are a yearly member. Um, so if you're not a yearly member, I highly recommend checking that membership out. Um, and I get that it's definitely not like the cheapest thing ever. So it's something you would want to budget for, plan for, things like that um, to take advantage of our yearly membership. Um, but it's something so worth it. And I think you're going to really enjoy it. You know, we like to say, if you have a die cutting machine, you want the membership because it's going to make the money back if you're going to use it for business purposes and even get enough personal enjoyment out of it with getting inspired to make new projects. Because if you're not inspired to craft, you're not going to use the machine and get its value. So it's a, they go hand in hand. So we love that. And Pamela says, Tanner, would the bright pad not work to help you weed that? It's honestly not that bad like seeing because it was printed. Like it's not bad to see. I'm just honestly trying to find all of them all the little pieces like it's it's not bad to find them but it could just be these new eyes plus one downside of the bright pad and i love the bright pad especially for glitter iron on oh yeah but it's you can't wait on the mat while true, you're waiting on the bright true. pad and we we're love lazy. waiting on the mat we're, we love waiting well on the mat. yeah that's really what it boils down to is that <laughs> we're lazy but oh my gosh it's awesome it's awesome 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 um okay so now i'm seeing a few spots that we're just gonna have to leave because I was not patient enough to find like three spots. So like there's a white spot here. Um, there's a white spot right here. Like there's just a few white spots. And we're lazy, but if you're not lazy, you could get your handy dandy true control knife and true. really dig in there on, you know, a healing mat or even this mat. Oh, update, just... I'm finding more pieces I need to weed out. Maybe oh. I do need to get the brow pad. Well, maybe you do. <laughs> and you could just intricately cut those out oh, if no, you're OCD. I'm finding a lot more, update update well then you just gave up too quick i did now that i look at it i'm like wait I'm like wait this needs to be cut here and tana where can they go for their troubleshoot questions <gasps> that's a great question if you have any customer service questions any concerns things we need to take care of for you or address be sure to email us monday through or no excuse me uh be sure to email us hi at makers gonna learn dot com and our customer service team is of answering customer service inquiries Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. And we'll get you taken care of. So uh, unfortunately, we cannot give customer service here on YouTube as we're just getting, we're here to craft and hang out. Um, but we have that whole team over there answering questions and just being able to take care of you guys with anything that you may need. Beverly has an interesting question. Hey, Beth. If you're up for it. She says, hello, I'm new to your channel. Who Welcome. is Mammal? Who is Mammal? Who's Mammal? Oh my gosh, that's a great question. Mammal is my grandmother. I take her shopping every week, um, multiple times a week sometimes. It's literally the cutest thing. 
okay? <laughs> she whips in from getting her hair done like every week. Oh, my God. And Tanner takes her to Walmart, and they just they just slowly go around the store. Oh, yeah. It's so sweet. I mean, I we have it. a routine, clearly. Like, such a great routine. Oh, yeah. Like, they start at the same section of the store, and they end at the same. Like, it's a, it is a routine. You do a loop. You know, if you want to call it anything, you start at the pharmacy, you work your way around, you end getting her deli meat for the week, and then if she's hungry, she'll get popcorn chicken, or she'll wait it out and make me take her and give her Wendy's chili. Oh my gosh. Okay. For everybody who doesn't know Mamma, <laughs> please just go to Tanner's channel after this live and just, just search the word Mamma, okay? And or, you'll find shopping. Or shopping, shopping. with Mamma. Search shopping, because you may spell Mamma different than I do. Okay, shopping. Shopping. Yeah. And then you will not be disappointed, okay? Yeah, it's pretty funny content. I love the shopping with Mamma. What a great question, Beverly. Thank you. I just can't believe people don't know who Mamma is. Just... I just pretend like she's like more of a celebrity than me. Like if I go to a conference or something, people start talking about her more than more than my content. They're like, "Mamma," and I'm like, "It's because oh. she's awesome. She's the best." And Tanner <laughs> has been buying her like you know, what is it like Michael Kors? This uh, no, uh, we got her, her own coach. Her brand is Coach Rachel. But no, what was the sweatshirt that she wore? Oh gosh, Calvin Klein. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So Tanner really lets Memo dress to impress. Oh my gosh. And here's the funniest part about it. She has no idea what the brands are. No, Rachel, you want to know what the funny part is? We find these brands at stores like Ross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like and, and Burlington. Like Co-Factory. they're all on sale. <laughs> but Tanner talks it up to Memo. Oh, I so Memo, you know, feels so good about herself. We got her and then we got her the coach purse for her birthday. And I got her a new one for Christmas. She acts like she is. Whew. Yeah, but she, here, but she really doesn't fly. know much about the brand. <laughs> she knows it's, nothing. It's so Nothing funny. about it. Nothing about it whatsoever, Rachel. It's hilarious. Mammal's the best. I know. The cutest. And Denise wants to know, did LASIK surgery hurt after it was done? <gasps> That's a great question. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I want to do a whole video on LASIK, first of all, because the experience versus what I expected, totally different. Um, LASIK was amazing. What did people tell you? Like, I know you probably okay. talked to some people with I, LASIK. Here's the deal. If you talk to people that had LASIK 10 plus years ago, <laughs> throw their, throw whatever they have to say out the window. For the most part. I was told to expect my eyes would feel like sand was in them for up to two to three days. Sand? Sand. Oh. That is not the case. Um, okay, so can we look at the second camera yeah. as, I, as I tell my story? Um, what we're doing now is we're going to apply transfer paper to peel up our little hedgehog and place it onto our chalkboard. Um, but back to my story about LASIK. So I was like, okay, you know what? A little pain for a lifetime of enjoyment, of not having to put in contacts, wear glasses. And I used to do both, um, you know, rotated glasses and contacts. Um, anyway. I was like, I'll put up with that. And they're like, okay. And when I heard about the surgery, they're like, you're not going to be able to see anything. It's just going to be like shadows. Shadows, Rachel. That's going... what they said you would see after the surgery? No, no, no before. Like during oh. the surgery. Oh. Okay. So there's two things that I feel really deceived by. Deceived. <laughs> and, and not by the doctors by no means, just in general, because you kind of trust your friends maybe a little bit more. But that probably would, was their experience, but technology has improved maybe. so much. I don't know. I See, I don't know. So anyway, first of all, first tangent, um, the, the, oh, the sand in your eyes. My eyes felt totally normal. Hmm. I don't, like, I, I had such a low prescription that maybe the laser didn't zap that much. Maybe... Maybe yeah, I mean, I guess they would zap more the worse you are. I don't right, know. I don't, see, I don't know. But I think being cut open, like your eyes cut open in general, any no matter what, is going to be intense, you know? Right. So, anyway, I had a great experience. There was no pain at all. I have yet to experience any pain. I have not experienced any dry eye, which my gym coach today was asking me if I had experienced because he had it done last May. And he's experienced dry, but the like reason, since then, yes, and okay. he did not prior have dry issues. And I think honestly, this goes sound terrible. I have worn daily contacts for the past three years. My eyes are feeling the best they have in years. Well, Tanner, you had terrible experiences with contacts. Like it was, horrible. they just didn't really work for you. They they did it did not. Um, they would just pop out of Tanner's eye, like oh as gosh. he was just standing talking to me. Yeah, they just pop out of his eye all the time, just all the time, just popping out. 
So I think my settings on Cricut is wrong because it keeps cutting through my vinyl and printable iron-on and things like that. Look at this. It's cutting through. I did change the blade. She fresh. She's a fresh blade. She's well, a fresh blade. She's causing me some discomfort with my situations. Cricut gave us too good of a blade. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. Second thing, let's talk about the actual surgery. It takes less than 15 minutes. For them like, to didn't cut. you say seven per eye or something? Yeah, yeah, it's something crazy like that. It takes, like, honestly, you're there for three hours, but they spend an hour you signing paperwork, you paying them. It's not cheap. Um, making sure you're comfortable, checking your eye. They give you some type of Ativan or some type of Xanax. They're like, you're. I feeling love that great. you didn't know what you took. You're just like, yeah, I I'll forget. take it. I forget. I, they told me, um, but you're just really, you're feeling really zen. Maybe the most zen I've felt in a while. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, but anyway, so they give you that, and then you're sitting there, and you're in groups. So, like, there was th two other guys that were having the procedure done in the same round as I. So they have an afternoon round and a morning round. I was part of the afternoon round. Um, and, yeah, so they, I was the last one. The first guy got up, okay, the first guy came out of the surgery room, and I was like, I, I don't know what I expected to see, Rachel. Like, wh when someone walks out that had the surgery, what do I don't know what you Do you expect. think he'd be, like, rolling out on a gurney or something? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> uh, he wasn't. He, he looked totally normal, and I looked to the other guy, and I said, well, that's disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see more. I wanted to see some, like, crazy, like... I don't know. I just expected a little bit more. Leave it to Tanner to adjust his own expectations for what he's about to do for someone to be like wheeling out on a gurney instead of just... I don't know. Just, I just was ready. I, I would be thinking happy thoughts. Like these people could probably drive right now. Like that's the I thoughts I'd be thinking. I feel like I totally could have. No. <laughs> I totally feel like I could have drove. Um, okay. So I've... Ooh. Look I've, how cute that is. I've peeled the transfer tape up. Look at this. We've weeded all of... Oh. Tanner, you're a master weeder. I'm going to put this on a color. No, that's why. <laughs> uh, oh, here we go. We'll get our board. Guys, look at this weeding. If I could do this, you guys could do this. Watch one of our videos while you're weeding a project. If you get lazy or if you, you know, it takes you a lot of time, you're not patient enough, just watch one of our videos. Wait, do you want the quote above I don't or know. below? I want the quote above, I think. Okay. Well, Rachel has spoken, so here we go. Little hedgehog and then the quote look above. Look at the little hedgehog. That's so yeah. cute. Does this look right here? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, it's staying. So, <laughs> Wait, when you use rubbing alcohol, I want to give you a fair warning. When you apply the vinyl, she's sticking. She's not going to let you peel her up. Hey, that's good, though. It that's is what we good. need. Yeah. And Pamela wants to know, hey, Pamela. if we have problems with a project, who can we try to get help from besides the Facebook group? Um, if you're having trouble with a cut file, um, be sure to email us as soon as possible. Um, and that's using the contact form. So here's the deal, guys. The contact form gives direct access to me when it's something that you need help with, like a project question. Um, and if it's an actual project question because some people will just be like what color should I what color vinyl should I use we will not be able to reply to all of those um, but if you have an actual project question related to one of our cut files and things like that um, we will be able to answer um, but yeah so that's a great question but so be sure to reach out to the hi at makersmillern.com I'm also super active in the Facebook group so I would I would honestly post in the Facebook group for project help if it's you know a technical thing related to a product like printable vinyl um, unless it's like a cut file issue. And I just want to say all of our members in the Facebook group, they have been around so the crafting supportive. block too. So I would, I would post there first and foremost, there's so much support and all the crafty ladies and gentlemen over there really know their stuff. Oh, they so do. So definitely ask there. Yeah. Sometimes they know more than me. So yeah, I would not, I would definitely put our group like head to head with some of the best. So we're just transferring over here. Tanya says that she loves Mama and she would love to see a craft picked by her and her on the live. Oh my gosh, we can make that happen. Mama's Crafting always Crafting with Mama instead of shopping with Mama. Uh, Let's do it. Mama would love it. She would, she'll be on camera any day because her friends at church see the videos because I put them You on lost the, a little dot up there. 
So just I'll talk about, I just want to let you all know these dots are because I didn't peel off the backing because do you all, did you all, wait, where did that piece go? Oh, okay. It's because the, oh, it cut, too it deep. cut it through cut. it oh, okay. and I wasn't able to individually peel off, say like that circle of transfer tape and stuff. So that's why some pieces are coming off, but anyway, we're just being honest and real today. This is a very intricate project that I absolutely adore though. So woohoo, our little hedgehog. Oh that's my adorable. gosh. We have two little hedgehogs. Hey, hedgehogs. So cute. I love it. Okay, next up, now we're gonna use our fonts. Super, super excited for this. We're using our fonts. What are we, what saying are we using? Anyone know, anyone know? Court. Court. We're using the font Krigger. Um, yes. Confetti. 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 Right. I have 2%. I don't know how or why or what, but anyway, we're using the font Krigger. It's plugged Confetti. up. I, I know, Rachel. Hmm. Listen, it's trying to mess with the church's money. What's our little quote, Court? What was it? Living on the, oh. living on the head. Living on the head. Oh, that's oh, so I'm cute. I'm so excited. Okay, and we're using what font? Excuse me. Confetti. What? Confetti. I thought I downloaded this one. Oh, well, we'll download it and we'll show you all the Makers Gonna Learn font dashboard because we, we just love our font dashboard. So anyway, that you saw our digital cut file dashboard. If you click on fonts and you're a year member, you're gonna be able to scroll down here and look at all of our fonts. And you get all access to these. Like guys, all of our members um, that are, have a year um, membership get all of our fonts. And if you're a year member, you know, you're the best. So anyway, copy, oops. I copied to iZip. You have to use any font. If you're using your iPad, we have a whole video on this process. Um, so we're gonna copy to iZip and confetti. So we're gonna click on confetti, click allow. And any font is $1.99. I like to explain that just so you guys know it's $1.99. Any font is the app. Yes, that we're using. Correct. Here we go. Michelle said, I tried this and did everything wrong. Thank you for showing me the right way. Oh, uh, anytime. We're here to just help share how to make these amazing projects. And sometimes you all are learning from our mistakes. And, so true. You know, so that, that's very, a good thing true. too, you know. Yep. So we're just going to kill the Cricut app because we downloaded a new font that we want to use. We're going to relaunch it. Yeah, make sure you do that. That's a good tip, Tanner. It is. Right after you download a font, Cricut ain't going to know it's downloaded. Got to kill it and restart it. Right. And look, confetti's right here. So And cute. what was the quote we decided? Live it on the hedge. Let's see if it, what it would look like in all caps. Live, living or just living? Living, and it's got like an apostrophe. You could do yeah. living if you wanted to. It's fine. Let's see here. Where's my little apostrophe? I can't find it on the keyboard. Like it shows it right here, but I, oh, 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 here we go. Nope. Okay, I'm confused how this keyboard's working right now. I'm, I'm literally having a moment. Cause like, look, do you see what I'm saying, Rachel? I'm trying to press right here. Oh, you gotta down. hit. Wait, swipe wait, down. On the letter. Wait, what? <gasps> oh, oh, and we don't have that on this font. Oops. Living is fine. Living. Living. Living on the head dropping stuff oh it's okay oh okay let me look at here maybe a lowercase h would look better yeah love it okay maybe i did this in okay i'm using two different fonts let me move living to the lowercase because i think it'll look so much better there we go <gasps> and then we can center this so we'll click edit we're gonna click alignment we're going to center that text, and I may have used a space somewhere. Yep. Look at that. Sometimes, notice how that was, like, off place. It's because you had, I had a space in the center. Oh. It was throwing everything off. So this is a big tip for everyone that is, you know, using fonts for the first time and things like that. So I love living on the hedge, but do we want it to be, maybe we need to move. How should we do it? Because our board's a little... I wanted to go be more vertical, Rach. Me what too. Do you think? What, what do if you think? did each word individually, except on the, and then you like squished them, and then you attached them? You know what I'm saying? That's like do a different text box for living, and then yeah. on the, and then hedge. Can we change the line spacing? Yeah, we um we can move the line space and bring it closer. 
Um, but do we want to bring on the and hedge on the same line? Oh, yeah. There we go. The court's always here to keep us straight and narrow. Okay, perfect. So living on. And then we're going to move over the V. So see what we're doing here? We're backspacing and then pressing return. And then we're going to go right here and click to bring the hedge up. There we go, and then we need to bring that space back. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. And we're just having fun designing here. So living on That's so the cute. hedge. Love it. Is this a D? Yeah. Yeah. Is it a uppercase D? No. Okay, cool. Just double checking here. Barbara wants to know, I have Cricut printable clear sticker paper. Mm -hmm. Is this the same thing? Is what Tanner is using. No, we're using Cricut printable vinyl. So you have clear sticker paper. This is um, printable vinyl. Um, this is much better for what we're making today. So anyway, now we're going to size this up. We're going to take our little board and we have all this space up here. You can kind of see. So we're just going to size it again. We know that we only have like eight inches wide. But we have probably like four inches, I would say, maybe to work with. What do you think, Rachel? Four yeah, inches? I'd say yeah, four four cute. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to take this and um yeah, so if we're wanting to go wider, see maybe this looks good. What do you think? Yeah, it's cute. And then we have six inches. So I think this will be perfect. Living on the hedge is gonna be awesome. And we already have white vinyl. So we're just going to be able to press continue. We still have 2%. This 2% is hanging on. I have no idea. Wow. I, don't I don't know. It's supposed to be charging. Who knows? Um, but we have white vinyl in here. This is just regular vinyl. Super, super awesome. Look at that hedgehog. That's so cute. Look at him. You all can't tell me this hedgehog is not perfect. Like you all need to use this home collection. Get your hedgehog. Well, um, you can get 700 other cut files, but you also get the hedgehog. <laughs> you want the hedgehog in the home collection. I know it. If you're not a member, you need the hedgehog. We are now cutting out, living on the hedge using our confetti font. And this is going to be such a fun project. I I'm super it. excited. We had to throw this together super last minute. So you guys, like, for sure are going to enjoy this one. It's just cutting away. Oh, someone says curving would have been neat. Tanya chimed in and said you can't curve on the iPad, though. Oh, Tanya, you know she, it. She knows her stuff. She is a cricket Tanya's guru. been asking some great questions today. Yeah, thanks, Tanya. Joanne said, the hedgehog is so cute. This may end up on a gift for my mom. Oh, yeah. Your mom would love it. She'll love the little hedgehog. It's adorable. Everyone uh, has to love the hedgehog. Barbara wants to know what size frame you're using. <gasps> Ooh, I believe it's uh, eight by, it's eight by two, 11 and a half. What about the whole thing? Oh, the whole frame? Oh, the frame. Mm. I don't know if that's what they want, but hey. Uh, it's 20 inches. When you're measuring frames, I know if you're measuring an iPad. Like a TV it, or something? Yeah, TVs go this way. Did you know that? Yeah. Um, it's crazy. So, okay. It's 20 if you're going this way, <laughs> and it's like 15, little more than 15, 15 and a half by, and this is a chalk couture frame, guys. Like, you could get this at chalk couture. Um, about 13. About 13. Huh. Yeah. Cute. Aw, everyone's loving it. Yay. I know. Well, how can you not? It's a little floral hedgehog. Exactly. Okay. So we're now going to be able to unload this, and what I love is that we're using the fonts, we're using the cut files together which are my favorite thing living on the hedge save them scraps oh yes oh yes the true control knife is amazing does the cricket work with hp or do i need to buy an imac um no it will work on your hp you don't have to worry about nothing you can just enjoy it okay i'm using rachel's tip again yep real good get in there real good
Okay. Make sure I feel confident. It changes the game. So I just like to start in a corner. And it just stays down so much better. I know. I don't know why none of us thought of it. I know that some of these crafty ladies and gentlemen already have. But as far as us, I don't know how none of us. Like, look at how easy it is to peel up now, Rachel. I know. Like, I we know. used to kind of bash the vinyl. Tanner, I used to bash vinyl all the time. Did I peel up the on? No. Nope. No. Okay. Whew. I get so excited. Look at this. That I would not have been able to do that. I'm just saying, would not have been able to do that. Pretty cute. It's awesome. Such a great project. It's on a whim. This is a great on the whim project as well. You can take a little chalkboard. Some of the best things are made on the whim, Tanner. That's so true. So, so true. But yeah, the LASIK has changed the game. If anyone's considering it, highly recommend. All right, and look, wait, no, that's not transfer tape. I had a piece of transfer tape. Where did I move it? Anyway, uh, I guess I'll cut a fresh piece of transfer tape. I swear I had one. So we're just going to take our true control knife. We love that true control knife. It's amazing. That thing's awesome. Yeah, this is, well, I need to, I need to, I'm having a moment here with this transfer tape. Oopsie, I want to move it right like so. And cut this, and cut this. All right, perfect. This is one of our giant rolls of transfer tape, which we love. We love the bulk rolls. Bulk rolls are the best. So, okay, now we can just peel this up. Andrea says, I love you all. I have learned so much and I hope to get as good as you all. Aw, we're not that great, but you can, I'm sure you'll get better the more we're you We're still craft. learning too. Yeah, we're all just crafting it up every day. That's all we can do. You guys can see we make mistakes all the time. So notice how we're peeling back. Look at this. Kimberly, oh Kimberly. She says, can you reuse transfer tape? Of course, you can reuse it up to like six to seven times we found. Like, yeah, I was so crafting true. with it last week and I was like, let me just see how many times I can reuse it. And I got seven. That's amazing. Seven. Oh my gosh, this is freaking adorable. How's this look? Great. I love this. I love this project. And again, we're using the font Confetti with our little hedgehog from the Home Collection. So if you're not a member, use that first link down below look how and get your membership. You will not want to forget, you only have until tomorrow. Yes, one more day. One more day to take advantage full advantage of our membership sale. Look at this amazing project. You are not going to miss out on this amazing, amazing project. So be sure to click that first link down below, get your membership so that you're able to make amazing projects like this one and many, many more guys. We come to you every day here on the channel sharing more uh, DIYs using our cut files, our fonts. I mean, we have so much fun. Rachel. I don't even want to talk about how cute it is. Look at it. It's adorable. Look at it. The font's perfect. There's this little air bubble. Oh, there we go. Um, everything's adorable. The Hedgehog, awesome file. Highly recommend everyone to go check that out. Everyone's going nuts for it, Tanner. Woohoo! The font, the Hedgehog, all of it. Yeah, guys, this is such a fun project. You all are gonna want to check this out and craft with us. So adorable. So Everyone's wanting to do it with reverse canvases, which would be a great that idea. That would be awesome. Yeah. And you could use the printable iron on if you have one that you just absolutely adore. Um, and you put it right on your canvas. So it's that easy, it's that fun, and we love it. So are there any questions? No questions, awesome. just a lot of love, Tanner. Yay, well I have 1%, so I'm gonna go quickly walk you through how to get your membership. If there's anyone here that's super excited to become a member after hanging out with us today, it's such a great time. 
to get that membership. Remember, you want to act fast. Um, time is limited. Oops. So anyway, you're going to want to open up the description. You're going to want to click this first link right here, and that's our special link. So once you click that, it'll take you to the Makers for Learn page. Join for 20% off, special. And if you just know you want to be a year member, click the blue button. You, d you know you want to be a year you, member. Yeah, you want to, you know. It's the best value as you're going to see. Um, normally, a monthly membership is $19.99 and the yearly is $15.99. But here on this special page for being one of our followers, you get access um, to this 20% off. So you can just go ahead and select you know, the membership of your choice. I highly recommend the yearly if you're interested in fonts. And if you have a PayPal account, press the yellow button. If you're subscribing via a credit or debit card, press the gray button. And it's that easy. And then you get instant access to all of our fonts and die cutting, uh, die cutting files. And all the printables, our Cricut printable guide, which I love. Remember, you get access to this too. Super fun. 20 pages of awesome references for using your Cricut. We love it. Any questions? Let me see here. Mm. Ooh, this was a fun project. It, it was not a, a craft fail. I no. was kind of worried. No. We don't have a ton of questions, Tanner. Uh, do you see all these emojis, all these uh, hard it. eyes? Everyone just love loves it. it. So awesome, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Be back and come back tomorrow to hang out for some more crafty fun. Hope you guys have a great Thursday. And be sure, tomorrow's Friday, end of the membership sale. So if you want to get a membership to be crafty this weekend, go get it so you can start picking out your files to be planning your weekend crafts. It's going to be a lot of fun. And remember that your membership you don't have to worry about it for a whole year, and it's that gift that keeps on giving. So thanks so much for being a part of our crafty community. We really appreciate it, and I just want to thank you all for everything. So thanks for watching, guys, again. See you. Bye.